All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashum, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Rakakadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashum, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Rakakadash. And I'm out here once again to let our people know, which are the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and native Indians, that they are the true uh, Israelites of the Holy Scriptures, and that the promises and the, and the promises of the kingdom of heaven is only for them. book of Ezekiel chapter 38 and I'll start at verse 1 and the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man set thy face against God the land of Magog the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against them okay so Gog and Magog is talking about Russia. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there are heightened tensions going on between Russia and America, okay? And the tensions, they're not gonna simmer down, okay? And, and as I continue reading on, you're gonna find out that Russia and America, they're not gonna go back to being friends, like how they were back in the, uh, the 1800s before World War II began so then it goes on to say uh, and say thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai behold I am against the O God the chief prince of, uh, of Meshach and Tubal so yeah you know, of course, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is against Russia. He's against Turkey. He's against Germany. You know, he's against every kingdom on the planet. But there, there are particular kingdoms on this planet that he is dealing with that he is going to use for his future purpose. Okay? And Iran, and Russia, and China are, are some of those main countries which the Mosai is going to use to take down Babylon, this uh, wicked, corrupted uh, country. Okay, uh, verse 4, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and bring thee forth and all thine army. Okay, so the Mosai is going to turn Russia back from being an ally of America. And in return, he's going to strengthen Russia. Okay, he's going to put the, 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 uh, the knowledge and these different scientists in Russia to develop more powerful artillery to come back to America, okay? To make more powerful bombs, to make more powerful uh, jets, more powerful tanks, more powerful MRAPs, more powerful guns, more powerful armor, more advanced and, and higher technology equipment that could be used to come back against America. So that's, that's what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is doing with Russia right now. Okay, Russia already got the artillery and firepower to come back to America. But guess what? He's going to continue to build Russia up even more. Because Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus, they hate this whole entire world contrary to uh, the world's belief. Okay, so and bring thee forth and all thy horses and horsemen, the horses and horsemen are talking about these different MRAPs, these different tanks, these different vehicles which Russia have that, that are capable of combating America over there in the Middle East. Okay? These different chariots, like these different uh, jets, these different uh, anti-air missiles like the S-300s, the S-500s. They're getting ready. These different warships with rail guns, laser guns. 
and all of them come with all sort of armor, okay? Armor that can withstand uh, the impact of such bullets. Or, you know, okay? Or, or you know, in some cases, you know, uh, in Russia, they have uh, these uh, type of uh, armor. I don't know if you're aware, but they have these uh, special type of armor that can uh, that, that have uh, uh, some some kind of explosive resistance. So, if they do get hit by the explosion of a grenade, or you know, from, from a rocket-propelled grenade launcher, okay, they're able to, to still you know shoot their weapons. Okay, they have exoskeleton suits, suits that make it easier to, to, to shoot a assault rifle or a Gatling gun or a machine gun or, or any kind of automatic weapon with, 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 with high accuracy. So that so that they barely miss their target. They have Russia have things like that. Okay? Even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. Handling swords meaning what? They they train in armed combat every day. Armed combat. They they learn how to shoot their weapons. They learn how to aim. They learn how to target particular targets. They learn how to use every weapon, okay? There ain't Russians there that just know how to use the automatic uh, assault rifle. There's Russians that know how to use shotguns too, man. There's Russians that know how to use uh, uh, some of the most powerful sniper rifles on the planet, okay? There's sniper rifles powerful, powerful enough to pierce the armor of a tank that Russians know how to use. Okay, special type of uh, 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 bows for stealth for, for uh, stealthy kills. Okay, there's Russians that know how to use bows for for uh, for like a uh, uh, stealthy kills, get, get, getting kills without being spotted by the enemy. Okay, there's Russians that know how to use rocket launchers. Well, uh, uh, without you know fucking up 90% of the time, without messing up 30% of the time. So these Russians are getting ready for war against America. Okay, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, which is Iran, in which Iran is becoming the main target in the news. Ethiopia, that's talking about the Hamites over there in uh, Africa. Okay, in Libya, the Hamites over there in Libya. I mean, over there in uh, Africa. Okay, and and you know you might have some Jakes in uh, amongst their army, because remember you got Jakes that live in Ethiopia and in Libya, so they're also going to be participating in, in uh, the Hamagad one over there in the Middle East. You see? Okay, with 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 them, all of them with uh, with shield and helmet, Gomer. Uh, and all his bands, the House of Togrima of the North Quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So be thou a guard unto them, meaning Russia is commanded to be a guard unto these smaller and weaker nations who can't stand up to America, who don't have the firepower to stand up to America, okay? You wanna know why America is not just going into Iran and doing what they want like how they did in Syria? Because Russia is backing them up. Okay? Okay, so then it says, after many days uh, shalt thou be visited in the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and, and is gathered out of many people uh, against, against the mountains of Israel, okay, which have always been waste, but is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them.
It says, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm, right? Because, uh, well, there's a precept to that. Let me just, uh, let me get it real quick. Because the scripture said that uh, Russia shall ascend and come like a storm, right? Well, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the, who, who shall fear the name of the Lord? The, uh, the, the elect of the nation of Israel. The elect, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, but, but only, well, well, which are the Israelites, okay? The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, which are the Israelites, but guess what? Only the elect of them is going to fear Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Okay? And I'm talking about on this side. Okay? So shall they, the elect of the nation of Israel, uh, uh, fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay, from the west and his glory. Okay, from the rising of the sun. The rising of the sun is talking about Yahawashai, when Yahawashai returned. Okay? Because, the, like it says in the book of Revelation, Yahawashai is the great and morning star. Okay? What is that? That's talking about the sun. Okay? I mean, not, I mean, uh, of course he's speaking metaphorically. Okay? <laughs> okay, of, co of course he's speaking metaphorically. Because Yahawashai, he can't be the actual sun itself. All right? Otherwise, that wouldn't make any sense. So metaphorically, Yahawashai is speaking when he said that he is the great and morning star. Okay? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. So there it is again. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, well, where do you get it? Where do you get floods from? You get floods from storms. So, uh, back in uh, Ezekiel chapter 38, uh, verse 9, it says, Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. So, so Russia is going to invade America. And when they do, they're going to be killing off you Americans. They're going to be killing off you people living here on the soils of America. Anybody that is for, uh, in which their primary function is going to be killing anybody uh, who, who, who will be a fellow American civilian? Because Russia, they're not going to have civilians here, okay? Russia is going to be looking at their own people as traitors. Okay? Russia, Russia, Russia is going to be looking at their own people as traitors. Oh, you want to decide with America? Fuck you, you can die too. Da -da 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 -da. So it's going to get nasty here in America. So you already know if, if Russian soldiers are going to be killing their own people here on the soils of America, how much more are you so-called white people calling yourself Americans? You ain't got a chance in hell, man. They're going to kill you. These Russians are going to kill you, your kids, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your nephews, your nieces, your, child, your grandchildren. They're going to kill all of you, man. These Russian soldiers are not going to have any mercy on you. Okay, and, and I'm also going to go deeper into that, Lord's will, which can be found in the book of Isaiah. Okay, so Russia's going to come like a storm, man. They're going to be, they're going to come here and, and, uh, as paratroopers. And then you're already going to have Russian troops here on the soils of America because of the, uh, the UN troops. And you already got Russian troops on the borders of America training and doing drills. So this country is finished. So thou shalt ascend and come like a storm, like a flood. Okay? Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. So they're going to be all over America. Like I said, you got Russian troops training on the borders of America even as I speak. Okay? Thou and all thy bands and, and many people with thee. The many people is talking about these different nations, man. Because over, over, as time progresses, Russia is making more and more allies. You know, they already have China as an ally. 
They already have North Korea as an ally. They already have Iran, uh, uh, Libya, Ethiopia uh, as, as allies. Okay? They already have, uh, well, I already said China, right? They already have China as an ally. Okay? And guess what? In the future, they're going to have NATO as an ally. Because NATO is going to turn on America. And a matter of fact, let me just get that as well real quick too. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 7. All the men of that confederacy, what does the word confederacy mean? The word confederacy means an, a, an alliance. Okay, all the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Right, because it don't matter what you so-called white people call yourself by. You can call yourself Russian, you can call yourself European, you can call yourself Ukrainian, you can call yourself Australian, you can call yourself American. It don't matter what you call you, you can call yourself Israeli. Guess what? At the end of the day, you're still the devil and you're still gonna deal deceitfully because y'all have always dealt deceitfully. Just look at your own history, okay? What happened between the Ptolemaic dynasty and the Seleucid dynasty? Did not they turn against each other and started going to war? Okay? Just look at the Senate and the Roman Empire, who, who was killing off uh, Caesars that, that, that they didn't want to be Caesars. Okay? You devils have always dealt treacherously with one another. So it's not gonna be no surprise when NATO turns on America. It ain't gonna be no surprise, okay? Did not Russia and America turn on each other? They were once allies. What happened? So the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in them. Okay, so that's my point. Okay, NATO is going to turn on America. Now back in Ezekiel 38 verse 9. Thou shalt ascend, meaning Russia shall ascend, and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, uh, and many people with thee. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought and, and you know who's going to put that evil thought in their heads the most high is okay the proof of that is right here this is the book of revelation chapter 17 verse 17 it's going to tell you okay it says for yahweh have put it in their hearts he put it he put it in who hearts well let's start at verse 16 it says, and, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For Yahweh had put it in their minds, which the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lob, which means your mind. Yo, what up, man? Okay. Which, which means your mind. So guess what? Okay, is the most high gonna put it into the minds of 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 of, of, a, of an actual horn on, on a damn beast? No, he's because horns don't have a fucking mind. First off, okay, it's talking about the kings that are responsible for, for these different cities uh, around in Europe. Because in Europe there's many different uh, uh presidents, okay? Hell, e e even a mayor could be counted as a king. Okay, he's a ruler, ain't he? So, 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 he, even a mayor could be considered as a king because there, there's different levels to being a king. Okay? Just look at Yahushai. Is he not the king of all kings? He's, he's going to be king over King David, right? King David is going to be king o, 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 over the elect, right? And guess what? The elect is going to be kings o, 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 over the, over uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the other uh, kings of the nation of Israel, you know, I'm talking about the, 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 the uh, two-thirds who's going to come back 
uh, in the kingdom of heaven as kings, right? So, so guess what? They're going to be kings under the elect, which are going to be kings. You see? So there's different levels of being king. So guess what? Even the mayor can be considered a king. So you might have like a, because like, like for an example, one of the uh, horns of Europe would, would be the Netherlands, right? The Netherlands, for an example, or a Denmark, okay? Denmark and the Netherlands, they have their own mayors. They have their own kings. So the Most High is going to put it in their mind to, you know what? Fuck, no, fuck America. Shoot them missiles, okay? Shoot, shoot them missiles on that damn country. Okay, so 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 these different rulers over there in Europe, okay, they they're going to give the command to shoot shoot off the intercontinental ballistic missiles on America. Okay. Uh, so Revelation chapter seventeen verse seventeen, it says, "For Yahweh have put it in their minds to fulfill His will, and to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled." So the Most High have put it, he, he's going to put it in their minds. So if the Most High is going to put it into the minds of, of these different rulers in Europe to shoot off missiles, how much more Putin? Okay, so back in uh, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 10, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things Come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Okay? And you know what that evil thought is gonna be? This country's gotta be destroyed, man. Because America is the main source of the problem on the entire planet. Okay? Because they go around bombing other countries, they go around oppressing other countries, okay, Leave, leaving countries impoverished, in ruins. Okay? America don't ruin the lives of, of many different countries. So guess what? Putin, and, and, and so in the back of Putin's mind, he gonna be like, this country's gotta go. It's, it's gotta go, man. It, it's the main problem on the planet. Okay? Every time I lay my ass down, I gotta, I gotta wake up and hear about America doing this to my country, to this country. This country gotta go. Okay, so 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 that's what that evil thought is going to be. That evil thought is going to be. I'm I'm a uh, Putin. If Putin's evil thought is going to be. He's going to shoot nukes on this country, man. The most proud and wicked country on the planet. Okay, verse eleven. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. Is there any walls here in America? Well, okay, down there in Mexico, there's a wall. But come on, man. That's the only wall around this. Uh, that's the only wall. Uh, on this country, man. There's too many openings. Any country could, could just set sail and get here to America. They don't necessarily have to, uh, you know, get get through the, uh, that, what's the name of that fucking bridge, man? Where you, you got to pay a, 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 a fee and shit just to cross it. They may not have to cross it, but guess what, man? Guess what? They're still on the soles of America. There's still a way for them to sneak in. Okay, it's the same thing with these, soldiers, these, these Russian soldier troops, okay? And again, they got suits that can turn invisible. Cameras can only see things that are visible. So what happens if you encounter a Russian troop who, who's, uh, who's uh, a, a soldier uniform can, can, can make them camouflage or, or blend in with, 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 the, with the environment or, or make them damn near invisible? Cameras ain't going to be able to pick up on that. So he'll be able to sneak through just fine. You see what I mean? This is the country of unwalled villages, okay? They can fly jets over the skies of America right now if they wanted to. Okay? And, and thou shalt say, I will go to the land of unwalled villages, okay? I will go to them that are at rest that dwell safely, okay? That dwell safely. Because everybody here on the soles of America is dwelling safely right now, okay? How many of you people here on the soles of America got to worry about a, a, a random bullet, several random bullets flying through your wall and striking your kids? 
Okay. How many of y'all got to? How many of you Americans got to worry about a, a, a grenade being thrown thrown in through your window, and then there's a loud bang that that damn near distorts the whole family and puts everybody in, in desiree in their minds because they don't know what the hell's going on. You ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about gun, loud gunshots going off for, 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 for hours, day and night, because that happens over there in the Middle East. That don't happen here in America. You ain't got to worry about gunshots going off day and night, okay? Y'all can wake up and party all day and bullshit, do drugs, enjoy your life. You ain't got to worry about that, okay? They're not living like that over there in the Middle East. They're suffering right now, okay? Some of, some of them already don't lost their kids, babies, or pregnant women to random gunfire. Okay? You got kids who become refugees because they ain't got no parents. They got to learn how to take care of themselves and pray that they're not the next ones to die. You people here in America, you ain't got to worry about that. You're absolutely fine. So this is the place where people dwell safely. You ain't got to worry about a missile coming from a drone that's like, what, damn near 250 feet up in the air and shit, man. Striking from way out the sky right into the environment, leave, leaving nothing but rubble and fire and shit. You ain't got to deal with the smell of smoke, fire, and ruin every night. Here, hearing people yelling and crying and screaming because they don't witness their family getting slaughtered. You ain't got to worry about that because you live here in America, okay? And everybody living on the soils of America is, is dwelling safely. But real soon, the Heavenly Father and His Son, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus, they're going to take away the, the peace and safety from this kingdom. There ain't going to be no safe place to hide anymore because when Russia, when China, when all these other countries invade this place, there ain't going to be nowhere to hide, okay? Especially with the Terminator robots uh, are roaming around killing people that that's being manufactured by DARPA and you know I had to rewatch that video again. I watched it like several days ago uh, uh, the, the, uh, the robots that, that that are being manufactured by by DARPA Robots that are being manufactured by DARPA They got this one robot that is so smart He knows He knows to, to it, it not he it knows to show it it knows to shoot uh, particular targets okay like there was this one scene where this guy uh, got in front of the robot while it was shooting and the robot stopped shooting okay the robot even put the gun to his head and did not shoot but then as soon as dude stepped out of the way guess what the robot started shooting again okay this robot had a shotgun he shot the ground where the two guys were and then he took the, the, the little uh, the, the little robot dog, okay, jumped over the edge and just ran off, okay? That's what you people is going to have to deal with in the future. Robots, and guess what? Those robots are going to be, they're going to mainly be a program to, to kill us, okay? They're not going to be programmed to kill so-called white people. They're going to be, well, they might be. But they're mainly going to be programmed to kill us, man, the Israelites. Because the so-called elites, they know who we are. So these robots, and let me tell you something, man. These robots are, are, are fucking marksmen, okay? They, they were showing uh, uh, how, how well this robot was able to shoot, man. This robot was getting nothing but headshots. This robot was getting nothing but headshots. Okay? And to show you how accurate these robots are, they was kicking these robots. They was hitting it, they was shoving it, and this robot was still getting headshots. This robot was diving. Right in the middle of diving, it was still getting headshots. So it's going to get nasty out of here, man. It's going to get nasty out here. But guess what? You people here are here on the soils of America. 
You're gonna have to deal with that. You're gonna have to worry about that. You're gonna have to worry about, okay? Because they all, there's also another video where, 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 where they were showing robots that were so smart, they knew how to climb stairs and open doors. So don't be surprised if there's a robot that knows how to lock pick, okay? You might be asleep one night, and, and guess what? A robot might uh, lock pick your door, open that shit, go in there and slaughter your whole family. Or better yet, he, he won't even have to lock pick. It might be a robot that can fly. He'll just dash right through your window. Cause we all got we all got glass windows in our home. So he hey, he might he might he might break through your glass window, go in your house and slaughter your family. Okay? Terrible times. Terrifying times. Okay? That's why Yahweh, that's a part of the reason why Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is to be feared, man. Because, hey, when that time comes, he's going to let this devil let loose at everything he got, man. Okay? Murder hornets. Okay? Uh, uh, drones that look like insects that's going to be going around killing people. You, you name it, man. It's going to get ugly out here. Okay? Big ass spiders. They're uh, bigger than volleyballs roaming around and shit. You people is going to be freaked out, man. Most High's going to get you, motherfucker. Hey, man. Most High's going to get y'all. Hey, hey, these, these devils got, got some terrifying shit waiting for, for, for you, you public. I mean, these, these, these devils, they got some terrifying shit waiting for you people, man. And it, it, it's not going to be a pretty sight. It's, it's, it's going to be terrifying. So, uh, Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 11, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest that dwell safely, all of them a uh, dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. To take this, to take a spoil, right? Because uh, uh, as it is written in the book of Ezekiel, woe unto thee that spoilest and thou was not spoiled. Let me get that real quick. Because America is going to be spoiled too. Okay. Uh, okay, the, 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 the little precious resources that America have, it's gonna get robbed of its resources and, and all these other things, then guess what? They gonna, they gonna go back to their country. So uh, yeah, let me just get it real quick. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 1. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled. Because isn't that, isn't that all America has ever done? Okay? Especially you so-called white people who are biblical Edomites. Okay? That all, all you have ever did, all you ever did was, uh, was, was, was go around the whole world and spoil, man. Okay? Did, did you not spoil this land from the so-called uh, Native Indians? The, the Taino Indians? The Mayan Indians? Did you, not, did you not spoil this land from the Northern tribe? You so-called white people, the biblical Edomites, you spoiled this land from, from, from our people, okay? Like it tells you in the book of Micah, and they covet, and they covet lands and take them by violence. This land was taken by violence, okay? Russia, that land was taken by violence. Europe, that land was taken by violence. Because before you so-called white people even came into rulership in, in, in those countries, we were ruling those countries. We were, we were ruling Europe. We were ruling Russia. And then here come the so-called white man being a little snake that he is, you know, talking about peace, when there ain't no peace, okay? So those lands were spoiled, okay? All the gold and silver that you done robbed from our people, okay? Starting with the uh, with the uh, four, with the with the with the uh, 49er uh, gold mine rush in California, 
okay, to, to the gold and silver that you don't took out of all of the rivers and ponds and lakes. Okay, guess what? You so-called white people, you're gonna be spoiled, okay? You're gonna get robbed for everything you got. So woe unto thee that spoil us and thou was not spoiled. Even to this very day, America is still going into certain parts of Africa and, and, and in a certain parts of the Middle East and, and they're over there, what? They're stealing oil, they're stealing lithium, they're stealing rare, rare earth metals and rare, rare earth minerals and uh, rare, rare earth uh, materials, man. They're over there stealing uh, uh, diamonds, gemstones, crystals, and they show you that over there, uh, they show you that in that one movie. I forgot, I forgot the name of it. I believe it's called Blood Diamond. How, how, uh, how they had, they, because, come on, man. You really think Hamites is gonna have their own people in, in uh, slavery over there uh, digging for diamonds and shit out in the hot blazing sun, sweating? No, those, that, that movie was really about our people with, with blood, sweat, and tears over there in Africa dig, digging for diamonds and shit for the so-called white man. That's what that movie was all about. Okay, and guess what? They, 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 they even showed, uh, what? They even showed the tribe of Naphtali in there. They had the tribe of Naphtali in there. They had, uh, they had the, tribe, the tribe of Guatemala in there, okay? And guess what, man? They, they, they were all digging for diamonds and shit, man, in, 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 in that movie. That's why it was called Blood Diamonds, because people, pe people were getting whipped, people were getting put to death they're digging for diamonds and shit, okay? And guess what? Ham was the one that had our people in there. But guess what? The so-called white man also had a hand in, uh, in our people doing that. Because he was in the movie too. So, so yeah, the so-called white man, he really do have our people digging for diamonds and shit over there in Africa, okay? Free labor. And it's no different here in America because guess what? If you go to prison or state penitentiary, they have you working for free, basically about some, you, know, you, you, you can make up the seven cents an hour. What the fuck is seven cents an hour? That's slavery, man. That's slavery. You might as well not even work at all, man. Pennies are worthless. You can't do shit with seven cents. So basically, if you've been out there working for five hours, that's basically 35 cents you made. And if you're lucky enough to work again the next day and you get another five hours in, then you basically made 70 cents. Like, it's slavery, man. That ain't living. They got prison, and, and there's our people who are prisoners in a state penitentiary and, and in these different prison systems working for free. Working for free. Okay? But guess what? Yeah, guess what? All those diamonds and rubies and crystals and and uh, 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 sapphires and uh, crystals and, and onyx and, and beryl and uh, what do they call it? The the, the uh, crystal crystal chrysolite. All these different precious gemstones. Guess where they all going? They are going right to the so-called white men, to to the to the super rich and uh, and the, the so-called elites. So woe to thee. Isaiah 33 verse 1, so woe to thee that spoil us, and thou was not spoiled, okay? And dealest treacherously, how, 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 did the, so, how did the conquistadors and the Spaniards get this land? They got it by treachery, by saying peace, peace, when there ain't no peace, okay? Which that's a total, I would get Isaiah 55 verse 21, but, well, you know what? Why not get it? Why not? It's, it's, it's edifying, right? Why not get it? Uh, Isaiah, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 55, verse 21. No, let me start at verse 20. The book of Psalm, chapter 55, verse 20, he put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Who was at peace with the conquistadors and the Spaniards when, when, uh, uh, when, when, when they came over here to this land? Who was at peace with the English Dutch mercenaries when they came over to this land in the 1500s? Okay, the, the, the northern the northern kingdom were. Okay, I know you can't see it on this on this uh, shirt. Okay, 
because you know it's all it's all etched out but the north it, it was the northern kingdom okay the northern kingdom was at peace with our people i mean the north kingdom the northern kingdom was at peace you know see slip with the tongue not with the heart okay the northern kingdom uh, of course the northern kingdom was at peace with their own people that's their people the northern kingdom they were also at peace well, with, with, the, with the damn the, the Edomites, the biblical Edomites, who were calling them, you know, which are you so-called white people, in which y'all were calling yourself Spaniards and English Dutch mercenaries and conquistadors back then. Okay, but guess what? The northern tribe, which will be the, uh, the Latinos and the so-called native Indians, they was at peace with y'all. So he put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. A covenant is, is a binding agreement, meaning, okay, so, you know, in, in exchange for, 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 for letting us live on your land, you know, we're, we're going to provide you with this, we're going to provide you with that, yada, yada. But guess what? Y'all went back on that. And guess what you started doing? Giving our people blankets laced with smallpox, you started spreading diseases amongst our people, like scarlatina, uh, uh, tuberculosis, uh, uh, typhoid, typhus. Uh, uh, chicken pox, small pox. You gave, you gave all those diseases to our people and our people died from it. So he had broken his covenant, okay? Once you started shedding the blood of our people, you broke your covenant. You dealt treacherously. Okay? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, right? But war was in his, uh, uh, war was in his heart, meaning his mind. War was in his mind. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Okay? So that that you know that 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 hey y'all dealt treacherously. So guess what? Why 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 get mad when NATO deal treacherously with you? Okay, y'all are naturally treacherous people. So back in Isaiah chapter thirty-three, verse one: Woe unto thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously. Okay and they deal not treacherously with thee. Okay? It says, it says, when thou shalt seize the spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, you see? And that's gonna happen when America gets invaded by Russia and China and all of these other countries, okay? Okay, so America's gonna get spoiled. America's gonna get spoiled by Iran. They're gonna get spoiled by, by Arabians. They're going to get spoiled by Russians, Europeans. They're going to get spoiled by, by, by Germans. You know why? Because you spoiled. You're going to get spoiled by, by Africans, the Japanese people, Chinese people. You're going to get spoiled by, 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 by all kinds of nations on this planet. Why? Because you, you did it to them. So now it's going to come back on you. It's going to come back on you, you so-called white people who call yourself these proud Americans will keep being a proud American until terror reign over this country. By, by, uh, by, by your own people, okay? Guess what? The so-called elites is gonna release terror on you people. Okay, your own government is gonna release terror upon you people. Okay? Like if you look at Resident Evil, okay? They they show you some of these these uh they show you some of these um these newly created monsters which they have developed in secret underground labs okay just 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 look at the tyrant from Resident Evil 2 remake they show you how he was sitting in a capsule and then he was dropped out of a plane somewhere and then he landed in uh in, in uh in Leon's area so guess what there's gonna be many creatures like that being released on the souls of America. Okay, they're gonna be they're gonna be uh, uh, airdropped somewhere, 
And guess what? The capsule is going to open, and guess what? You're going to see hideous monsters come out there and start eating people alive because they feed on human flesh. You know why? Because they have been modified and, 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 and experimented on in, in these labs. So you people, hey, it's going, it's going to get bad, man. But the point that I'm trying to make is that America is going to get spoiled, man. Okay, America's going to get spoiled for its resources by these other countries. So it says, when thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And again, that goes back to what? Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men that, that, that was that, all the, all the men of thy confederacy have, uh, have brought thee to the border. Okay, they that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. Okay, there is none understanding in him. I mean, well, well they, they that have ate thy bread have, have uh, prevailed against thee. There is none understanding. So, so these countries are going to deal treacherously with America, okay? Okay, Russia is going to deal treacherously with America. NATO is going to deal treacherously with America. China is going to deal treacherously with America. Okay, there are all these countries that you hear about in the news, they're going to deal treacherously with this place and they're going to shoot missiles on it. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13. Mm. Hold on, I'm just trying to determine where I should start off at. Should I just read the whole verse of verse 13 or? It shall come to pass that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Because Russia is also mentioned in this verse too, man. Russia is mentioned in all kinds of verses throughout the scriptures. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon. Now, why is it saying the burden of Babylon? Because real soon, this country is going, is going to become a burden to you people. Because right now, you, you're, you're still in that, that American dream fantasy bubble. But real soon, when that bubble gets popped, guess what? It ain't going to be an American dream no more. It's going to be a burden, okay? Because your money, you're going to toss in the streets because it ain't going to be worth shit. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get the precept on that too. Because he, he, even as I speak, there's a nationwide shortage of coins, right? Isn't that weird how, how you know, when, when, when there's a coronavirus going on, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, when, when uh, places start opening up, there, there's a nationwide shortage of coins. It sounds to me that, that, that they're making some pretty good progress on the RFID chip, on, on the pushing the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Because like I said before, ultimately, the so-called elites, they want to do away with cash. Okay, and guess what? The coins, that's probably going to be the first thing to go. Okay? There's already a, a so-called, and I say so-called because it's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. How the fuck could there how the fuck can there be a nationwide shortage of coins? How? Okay? But only again, only the devil. Like I said before, man, at my job, we're, we're not even dealing with, with, with uh with the 25 cent quarters no more. Now we're dealing with, with, with only the half dollar quarters. Okay? So they're talking about there's a nationwide shortage uh, of coins. So, yeah, in the future, you, you people, are, are all these FRN notes you got saving up, it's going to be worthless. You're going to have to throw that shit in the streets. So bear with me for one moment. Let me see if I can uh, get it real quick.
Yeah, see, I don't know if it's Isaiah 23. So I'm not going to spend too much time trying to look for it. The point is that as it is written uh, in the book of I, uh, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, they sh their gold and silver they shall toss in the street in the, in the streets. So your money is going to be worthless in that day. And the only way, only way you can uh, buy and sell things in that day is if you got the chip, which is the mark of the beast. So again, that, that's my point. America is going to go from being this so-called dream, a fantasy world that you people are living in, to, to being a burden, okay? Your kids is not going to be able to, to enjoy their life. Your grandparents is not going to be able to, to in, enjoy their life or, or, or uh, reap or enjoy the benefits of, uh, reap, enjoy or reap the benefits of, uh, you know, of, of, of all the benefits they got from slavery, man. They're not going to be able to do those things, okay? It's because this country is going to be a burden. You're not going to be able to wake up and, you know, it's going to be beautiful out. It's going to be warm out. The sky is going to be blue, you know? And then you got in your mind, today we're going to go to Kings Island. We're going to go to Six Flags. We're going to go to the Fun Factory. We're going to go to Disneyland. You ain't going to be able to, you're not going to be able to wake up and do those things. Why? Because this country is going to be a burden. This is no longer going to be that dream, fantasy, fun land for you people to live in. Okay? It's going to be a burden. And especially for, well, it's already a burden for our people. But guess what? We can handle it so far. <laughs> okay? But, but as time progresses on, it's going to get harder and harder for our people. Okay? It's going to become harder and harder for our people. Okay? A lot of our people are going to start losing their jobs because of uh, certain laws and legislations being passed by the government, okay? But it's really going to be a burden for, for you so-called white people because the, the dollar is not, it's not going to have any value to it, okay? There's already a nationwide coin shortage, so don't be surprised if they start saying, well, the dollar bill is, we can't, we can't use the dollar bill no more. So what happens if you can't use the dollar bill no more? You're going to be stuck having to use fives and tens and, you know? And just like that, man, you're gonna get a, uh, you're gonna get a some kind of hyperinflation. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna say, "Well, we gotta find a solution to this." And you know what their solution is gonna be? Their solution is gonna be the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. So Isaiah 13 and 1, it says, it says, "The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see." So this, 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 this is a vision right here by Isaiah that was written thousands of years ago. It says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, okay, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go to the gates of the nobles, uh, uh, of the nobles. Verse three, it says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have uh, also called my mighty ones for my anger. The Lord's mighty ones is his angels. Okay. It says, even them that rejoice at my highness. The only ones that's rejoicing at the Lord's highness is his elect. Okay, the, the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, that's why, you know, every time we see something, you know, great happening in the news concerning prophecy, what do we do? We get excited. Because that means that 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 our our, our redemption draw up near. That means that means uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, his return is near. Okay, and, and guess what? When he returns, we're going to be liberated. Okay, well, Lord's will, if, if we're of the elect, okay, Lord's will, if I'm of the elect, and you sincere brothers are of the elect, but guess what? We're going to be liberated. Okay, the elect are going to be uh, 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 liberated from, from, from the wickedness of his kingdom. Okay, that's when we're truly going to go, that's when we're truly going to be at rest. That's when we're going to get our freedom. When, 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 when our Lord and Savior returns. Okay, it says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, uh, uh, the Lord of hosts must serve the host of the battle. Yeah, because the Lord is gathering these, these different nations together to, to make war with America. 
That's why every day when you look into the news, you hear about Iran doing joint drills with, with Russia. You hear about Germany doing uh, drills, military drills. You hear about Turkey doing military drills. You hear about China doing military drills in the sea. You hear about uh, North Korea doing military drills in the sea. Okay, you know why? Because they're getting ready to come up against America. Okay, because they're getting ready to come up against America. That's why they're doing all these joint drills, man. And a matter of fact, hold on. There's also a precept to that as well. Let me get it. Okay, uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles of Joel 3 and 9? That's talking about these other nations, okay? The Chinese people, which are the biblical Moabites. The Japanese people, which are the biblical Ammonites. The Arabians, which are the biblical Ishmaelites. Okay, the East Indians, which are the biblical uh, uh, Elamites. The Hawaiians, who are the biblical Japhites, the Africans, who are the biblical Hamites, the Russians, who are biblical Edomites, the Europeans, who are biblical Edomites, the Australians, which are biblical Edomites, the Ukrainians, which are biblical Edomites, you Americans, uh, you so-called white Americans, which are the biblical Edomites. Okay, you North Koreans, which are the Biblical Moabites. You South Koreans, which are the Biblical Moabites. Okay, these are the Gentiles spoken of in Joel 3 and 9. Continuing on. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Okay, and you know, when we come out on the highways and hedges, that's exactly what we're doing. We're making a proclamation. A proclamation that 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 uh, a, a proclamation of prophecy uh, of what's going to befall you heathens in the future prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up so it said prepare war okay and no oh, i missed one more okay uh, uh uh another another nation that 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 are considered gentiles in joel 3 and 9 are you so-called Israelis, okay? Calling yourself Jewish and you're not Jewish. You're a bunch of imposters, okay? The Holy Scriptures describe the real Jews as being so-called black people, okay? People of, 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 uh, of Negroid descent, okay? Those are the real Jews, okay? Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, he's even described as a so-called black man and in the Holy Scriptures. And guess what? He's from the tribe of Judah, okay? The Jews come from the tribe of Judah. So guess what? The, the real Jews are so-called black people. So who the fuck are those people in the land of Israel? I'll tell you who they are. They are descendants of Esau. They are Amalekites, okay? They are Amalekites. Okay? Why, why do you think they hate the word kike? Come on, man. The reason why they hate the word kite because it sounds much similar to Amalekite. Okay? And an Amalekite is a descendant of Amalek, in which Amalek is a descendant of Esau. So you people in the land of Israel, you're Amalekites. Okay? You're imposters. 
Okay, your true biblical nationality is that you're 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 Amalekites. Accept it. That's the truth. And the Bible even says so. And those who are well studied would know that to be true. So then it goes on to say, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Okay? So it said, prepare war. Now, like I said earlier, that's why every time you go into the news, you hear about this country doing military drills, you hear about that country doing military drills. You know why? Because they're getting ready for war. But they're not just getting ready for just any old war. They're getting ready for war against America, the, the, the big bad wolf on the planet, man. Because real soon, the, 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 the big bad wolf that's going around blowing down people's houses, he's going to get approached with AKs, machine guns, rocket launchers. He's going to get approached with, with nukes. And guess what? The big bad wolf ain't going to be the big bad wolf no more. He's going to have both his hands up like, don't shoot. But guess what? They're going to shoot anyway. Because as thou has showed no mercy, you will receive no mercy. Like the scripture said, okay? You ain't showing no mercy to our people. You still shooting our people with their hands up. So guess what, oh big bad wolf? When these other countries approach you with their weapons, when your hands are up, they're still gonna shoot. And America is the big bad wolf. Verse 10, beat your plowshare into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, beat your plowshare into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Okay, what is that talking about? You gotta upgrade your arsenal, man. You gotta upgrade your weaponry. Because everybody knows a spear is better than a pruning hook, okay? A sword is better than a plowshare, okay? At one point, was not America the only uh, country on this planet with weapons of mass destruction? How did these other countries get weapons of mass destruction? Because they went from, they went from beating their, uh, their rockets into missiles from, from, from beating their missiles into bombs, to beating their bombs into atomic bombs, to beating their atomic bombs into nuclear bombs, to beating their nuclear bombs into intercontinental ballistic missiles that can carry multiple nuclear warheads. That's, that's how these countries got weapons of mass destruction. Because it came from them, it came, it came from them upgrading their arsenal their military arsenal, okay? That's why these countries have weapons of mass destruction. Before, or, or before, what was it, back in the early 1900s, Russia was known as the country with missiles, okay? No other country, no other country on, on this planet had missiles except Russia, okay? America was known as the country with the weapons of mass destruction, like Skinny Boy and Fat Boy. Uh, okay, the atomic bombs that was tested on, on, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, but now look, America is not the only country with weapons of mass destruction. And there's a reason why they're called weapons of mass destruction. Because their, their weapons, they, they can wipe out whole entire cities. Whole, whole entire states. Okay? They are missiles that can wipe out a population... Of, of, of over a million people at a time. Because one state might have a million people living in it. Guess what? Russia has a, a nuclear bomb called Satan II. A weapon that's powerful enough, a weapon that's powerful enough to, 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 to destroy a state the size of Texas. One, one bomb that Russia has is powerful enough to wipe out an entire state the size of Texas. So guess what? These countries, they, they've been beating their plowshare and the swords and their pruning hooks and the spears. They've been upgrading their weapons, okay? A nuclear bomb, it's the most powerful bomb on the planet. Okay, there ain't no bomb more powerful than a nuclear bomb. Because even after the nuclear explosion clears out from the nuclear bomb, you still gotta deal with the radiation. The radiation is gonna poison the water, okay? Not to mention, radiation burns up anything around it, okay? How do you think microwaves cook their food? 
You think microwave? You think microwaves are just cooking their food with, 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 with hot steaming air? No, microwaves cook their foods through radiation. Okay, so people's going to be getting cooked by the radiation out here, man. They're going to be getting cooked from from the radiation of the nuclear bombs. And guess what? If you do somehow survive the nuclear destruction, how are you going to survive? Okay, the air, the air. There ain't gonna be no air, so it's gonna be a vacuum all, all throughout this motherfucker. Okay, it's gonna be a vacuum all throughout this motherfucker. Without air, you can't breathe, so you're gonna die. Okay? If you have an oxygen mask, how are you gonna drink your water? The water is gonna be poisoned. If, <laughs> if there's any water left, the water is gonna be evaporated. Okay? So, hey. Hey, man. Hey, listen. By, by, by the time the nuclear destruction ends, there ain't gonna be nothing left on the souls of America. Nothing. It's gonna be a desert. This is gonna be a big ass country full of ruins and deserts. Okay? So it says, assemble yourselves to come, all ye heathen. Gather yourselves together thither round about. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Okay? Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together. Gather, uh, it says, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. What's the valley, what's the valley of Jehoshaphat? That's, that's talking about uh, over there in the Middle, Middle East, which Jehoshaphat goes back to the Hebrew word, Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh is the judge. Because the Most High is going to be the one that's going to judge those heathen nations over there in the Middle East, and especially our people who decided to decide with the so-called white man to fight in his army. So they're going to get judged over there too. Okay? For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And guess what? Two-thirds of our people are heathens too. You know why? Because they do after the heathen. So guess what? For the time being, two-thirds of our peoples, they're being put in the category of the heathens until their asses is taken out. But when they come back in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to come back in their right mind. Then they're going to know they're Israelites, and they're going to be able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to 100%. So as a nation of people in the kingdom of heaven, we're never going to go off again, okay? We're going to be made perfect. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the uh, valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. The fast overflow, for their wickedness is great. So this is going to be the last scripture I'm going to bring out, because, you know, I got to work today. Got to go to the plantation. So... So uh, this is the book of Isaiah. I'm going to skip down to verse... Mm, I'll start at 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces, shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So when Russia invade America, you American, you, you so-called white American women, you're going to be getting raped. The ones of you that are pregnant, you're going to be getting put to death by these Russian troops, okay? And guess what? Your houses are going to be destroyed. Meaning what? They're going to kick in your door. They're going to invade your home. They're going to kick, well, well, actually, they, they, they might keep your husband alive, but, but they, 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 they might, they might, they might rape his, his wife right in front of him. And then put the both of them to death after they're done, okay? Oh, it said their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. You know what it's talking about? Because, when, hey, let me tell you something. When a bullet is discharged from a gun and it strikes an object, whatever object that bullet hits gets dashed to pieces. So guess what? This is talking about little kids getting shot up and shit by Russian troops. So little kids is going to be dying by Russian troops when that time comes. Both the kids from our nation that are up to two-thirds, 
as well as the kids from the heathen nation that are living here on the soils of America. Verse 17, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. The Medes is talking about the Russians, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it, you know? So you could be like, you know, please don't kill me. Here's my gold and silver. Here, you can have my gold necklace. They're not gonna want that. Or you know what? They might take it and still put your ass to death. Who knows, okay? But, but for the most part, they're not gonna want gold or silver. What they're gonna want is blood, especially the, these Middle Eastern troops, because these Arabian and uh, Iranian troops have been getting killed for the longest. So you already know, there's soldiers, there, there, there's Iranian and uh, Arabian soldiers that are a part of the, 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 the UN, okay? That's where the UN troops come in. Guess what? They're not gonna want gold or silver. They're gonna want your blood because, because, because there's, a, a, there's a lot of their people over there in the Middle East that died by the hands of you so-called Americans. So they're gonna come over here and take vengeance. Okay, and as for gold, they should not delight in it. Their bows shall dash the young men to pieces, meaning their guns. Their guns is gonna, is gonna be killing these people. Okay, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So they're gonna be killing pregnant women too. Verse 19, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we all know that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone. So guess what? The modern day fire and brimstone is gonna come in the form of those intercontinental ballistic missiles. So America is gonna be destroyed uh, by nuclear missiles during World War III. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall dwell there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satires shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And their time is near to come, and their days shall not be prolonged. So, so after the nuclear destruction of America, this whole place is gonna be a, a desert. There ain't gonna be nothing left on, on the soils of this place after the nuclear destruction, which the nuclear destruction is gonna come from who? China, Iran, North Korea, South Korea, uh, NATO, and any other country which hate America, including Russia. So with that, I wanna give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakafadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Death to America. Shalom.